coming up on Haynes Garage. Tires 101, everything you need to know to make a well-informed tire purchase. In our four-part series, we will go inside the numbers, make sense of speed ratings, identify performance and value options, and discuss proper care and maintenance for long tire life. With Haynes Repair Manuals, you can do it. Haynes shows you how. Today, we're talking about first speed ratings, which is just kind of a car enthusiast topic for a lot of us who are car buffs. But when it comes to purchasing tires and understanding the ratings and what they mean, Carrie, please take over and tell us about this ribbon looking tire that is a high speed tire and why that may be the perfect tire for one car and entirely the wrong tire for another car. Absolutely, I'd be glad to. Thanks for being here with me today. Sure. Uh, this particular tire happens to go on a very high performance vehicle. You can see by how low profile the tire is. Like a ribbon. People oh, see yeah. this quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So this, this tire right here is actually built for a, a Ferrari or a Porsche or one of those. There's all kinds of features to a tire that most people don't understand. Size is one of them. You can see how wide it is, how low profile it is for good performance, good handling. But the compounds in the rubber also make a difference. This is a high performance tire, which is compounds to stick and grip. So this is more like bubble gum compared to a harder material for the long life tires. Yeah. This is a softer rubber compound. Absolutely. That's why they wear faster. Correct. This and tire, people drive fast. Correct. And this tire's not built for wear. This right. tire's built to brake and perform. Stickiness. And handle and stick. Okay. Yeah. So when you're on the track or you've got a car that you want to enjoy and you really want, want to run it hard, this is the type of tire that you're going to run. This happens to be a Pirelli. There's all kinds of variety of different manufacturers. This is a very cutting edge tire. It's what they call an asymmetrical tire. You can see this side of the tire is different from this side of the tire. So when you say asymmetrical, I just think of different Correct. automatically. Exactly. But why the difference then? For performance handling and also more even wear. If we go sideways and look at it, just by this design I can see that with such a narrow sidewall, there isn't going to be as much shock absorbing potential for that tire. It's almost like solid rubber, like when you ride, have a wagon you know, or a toy where it's no, no air at all. This is pretty thin. This is correct. On the other hand, when you're cornering, it doesn't flex. Okay. It stays. So trade-offs. Yes. Everything's a trade-off. So the disadvantage of a speed-rated tire is a very rigid sidewall. I'm taking it. Yeah. You're going to a lower profile sidewall. The lower the profile, usually the higher the, the performance index. Okay. The less quality ride, but the more performance and handling. Trade-offs all the way through all when you buy tires. Through. Yes, absolutely. A, a topic to continue with all the other ratings. Correct. When would you have to buy and want to buy speed-rated? When would you say it's not for you to a customer to have a high speed-rated tire? So the size kind of indi indicates the speed rating. They're not going to build a tire like this that feels that's a Ferrari or a Porsche or one of those type of cars that's not speed rated. So this size right here, you can look at it. Just by looking at it, you know it's a high performance speed right. rated tire because that's the car that it fits. Okay. So to some extent, you're limited by size, okay. but you have some variables on some tires. Now, thank you for that on the variations of knowing that if I'm getting it right, you buy this particular size, it's already a speed rated design. Correct. Okay. Yeah. But then you get into passenger cars and sport utility vehicles and trucks and you still have speed ratings. Yeah. So I'm going to test you because I don't remember the alphabet of speed ratings off the top of my head, uh -huh. but it's like Z and Y and, and H rated. Correct. And I think the H rated is more the general everyday motorists. Am I right? So the H is kind of the general middle of the road. You get good handling, good performance, a little more longevity, better longevity. So the performance index chart goes, yeah. starts with S, yeah. being the least performance, okay. to a T, to an H, to a V, to a Z, I'm going the opposite direction. to a W. The Z is the top rated. The highest performance. Okay, yeah. but a W or another rating is a progression. So it's not a straight alphabet of like A, B, C, no. D. No, Someone came up with it and said, let's make it kind of complicated. Yeah, and then, then they got to Z and ran out of Z. And then they, then they threw in a W and then they threw in a Y. Really? Yeah. But back up the chart. Yes. So Kerry Lutz at the Tire Man. Strength and honor. Car guy to car guy. Car guy to tire guy. <laughs> Keeping you car wise for Haynes Garage, I'm Steve Ford. We're going to be back with another segment talking about the various sizes and other ratings when you go to buy tires or inspect your own tires. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube or on our website. You can also look into purchasing information about servicing and working on your own automobile and repairs. You can do yourself. But for everyday motorists and all of us, we want you to join us on Instagram. You can follow us there or Facebook and share your stories of your auto repairs and your experiences as a motorist. Again, thank you for watching. I'm Steve Ford. Safe travel. Mm -hmm.